Okay, I guess it's recording now. So guys, welcome to the video. And first of all, I have to say that I moved into a new apartment, like you can hear. No shit, mad floors anymore. So I finally got myself a new gaming room, which is laying beyond this door over here. And I was supposed to make this video a long, long ass time ago. It just every time I got a new part, every time uh, I felt like doing a video, I knew there was something missing. It was just not done right. Not, uh, it was not just finished yet. And at the moment, I actually do feel like this is the high end that I'm gonna get. I have still a few things here and there to do, but it's done. It's finally done. It's finally finished so you guys can actually see inside. And before we go in, I just want to give a huge shout out to Muna Sipoli, who actually made a lot of stickers for me. Uh, she, I don't know what the fuck she does, but she printed out these really cool stickers. This one is actually not used because I don't want to use it here yet, but I, I'm not sure where to put it. But big shout out for her. I'm gonna... Love you for the rest of my life. She's a mod on my stream, so come say hi. Special to her. Okay, let's get inside of this sick gaming room. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is special for my stream. <laughs> it's been like almost four months that I should be making this video, but finally I feel like it's done. Okay, let's go in. This is my gaming room pretty much at the moment. Oh yeah, here we go. So, first of all, you can hear the sound difference in here because... Uh, let's just take a little... Con you, you can see the difference, for example, if I say hello, 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 over here, it's more damp. If I go over here, it echoes a lot more, like you can hear it. So hello, hello, doesn't sound that good. So pretty much this is my gaming room. Um, I bought a lot of foam. We could, we should could like uh, throw out one thing in itself. Okay, first of all, I have to give a huge shout out to Serpent or uh, Urban Serpent Clothing Online, whatever, you, damn, they have a, a hard name to pronounce. They hooked me up with this amazing sweater right here, like the hoodie, I love it, thank you. And a really cool cap, and a giveaway on my stream. So guys, big thanks for you guys. And their site is pretty much over here. They have a flash shell, and to be honest, before we even start this video, here's a code for their site, a snap me code. If you can grab it, read it, you just have to pay for the shipping, that's cool. Okay, that's pretty much it. So first of all, we're gonna go to, where are we gonna start on? It just looks so pretty. Look at that face logo. This is actually made by Muna Sipoli too, so thank you. And we have like a lot of Annie Puro hosted, like a, he gave, gave away like one or a year or something like that on the stream. Thank you, dude. We bought those lights. So yeah, let's go through the foam first, okay? First of all, I put a lot of this foam on my walls. I bought it from Tuman, which is really good. It's a good site to buy a lot of... Uh, if you're a musician or whatever studio work you do, you can buy a lot of crap there. Uh, pretty much for a good price, so I suggest you guys check it out. Uh, I bought the gray and the, uh, it's like gray and blue. I really wanted to have red and blue, but they didn't sell red with the same price, so, and I think the red ones are a little bit bigger, the tiles are a little bit bigger, but these ones help out a lot in real, because you guys can see there's literally nothing else than the two computers here, like the tables, the two computers, that's literally what uh, what's inside of this room, so it was echoing like a motherfucker, but finally, I took it on by m upon myself to buy a lot of foam here, and it worked out well, I actually have a lot of, a lot more of it here, that I'm supposed to use. So I have like, I have like eight stacks of these and the pyramid ones, I have like a few view of them. I'm still wondering where I'm gonna put them, but I was thinking about like putting them on the corners, corners and maybe on the top too, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, within the foam, we have the Nano, Nano Leaf Aurora. So this is a beast of a light pretty much. Just give me a second, where's my iPad to be honest? Give me a second boys. Just a second. Let's, I'm gonna show you a trick. God damn it. Where's my app, baby? Here you go. Turn the studio to red. Well, that Your was. Wish is my command. My red. god, sometimes these fucking devices just make me crazy. Okay. Turn the studio to blue. I have results from multiple leagues. Turn the studio to blue. My god, right it shouldn't be that hard, but for some reason the fucking iPad is just not doing its job today. But yeah, pretty much uh, everything, every light in this room is controlled by some kind of device. For example, the light, the LED light, the LED strips over here are handled by phone. And the light over here is actually handled by this little mechanism right here. It's actually pretty cool, so you can make it swap lights or like that. And everything else here, 
works the same way pretty much. So they have pretty much the same software, which is kind of cool. So and to be honest, the Nano Leaf is the one when I when I want to use green screen because I have a green screen in my room too. It's like this big as of a pole to be honest. Like it's over there. It's over there. It's not set up correctly yet. So it's not it's not green screening. Let's go with that. So it's a giant piece of a pole that goes like around the room, the wall, and it's like a curtain pretty much. You can just uh, t uh, just wipe it on the right side of the room pretty much, and you have a green screen. And when I set this to white, that's pretty much the only main source of light that I need. It, it it's so powerful to be honest. So it, it works really well. Uh, but if I need some extra light, I can just use the lamp over here. It has a really powerful white light too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And but we we have sled trips going around the sound foam here. So it brings like a little bit of a profile for the stream. But yeah, that's pretty much that. And we have a camera stuck up to the foam over here. So you can, so it, give, it pretty much gives you like this perspective when you, uh, people are watching the stream. So they can pretty much see the whole setup over here. Uh, it's it, the Logitech uh, C930E, I think this is, C930E. It's the same one over there too. Uh, they have a wide lens, wide angle of lens. So pretty much, uh, if you would be standing on my point of view at the moment, you would see the whole setup. So when people are watching my stream, I set it up to the camera over there. They can pretty much see everything here. So the monitors, Asus, both of them are the same Asus. I don't remember. It's like Q2469AB or something like that. 144 hertz monitors, really good ones. I really like those ones, the older ones. And we have, a, give me a second, why did you turn off? We have a 4K 40 inch uh, editing curved. I don't really understand why it has to be curved, but okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, a 40 inch 4K monitor which does, for example, when I'm streaming or if I'm rendering, editing, doing any work, pretty much it's on this computer, on this platform over here. This is the gaming platform. So we have a i7 7700K, 7700K, and a GTX 1070, and 60 gigs of DDR4 RAM on, a, I don't remember the platform if it, actually I have the fucking, uh, fuck it, I don't remember the motherboard, I will try to figure that out a little bit later. And we had a lot of crap there, okay, just forgot pretty much. But this one is actually interesting, this is the computer that does all the work. So it's an i7-5820K, six core processor that has 12 threads, this, this was a big deal back in the days, the processor that it, this one actually has, this actually has the nanolights or anything like that, so if you want to see inside, that's pretty much what it looks like. This is like the most unprofessional video out there. It has the 670 uh, GTX 670 SLI at the moment, 16 gigs, 16 gigs of DDR4 2 and I'm actually thinking maybe buying a Thread Reaper inside of this beast and updating it, but no, I'm not sure yet. At the moment, it's handling uh, 1080p stream 60 FPS perfectly, no problems. So maybe for the future, for better encoding, I might go for a Thread Reaper. But at the moment, you're beautiful just the way you are. Uh, over here, we have the Focusrite interface that is actually hooked up to a Shure microphone. This is a beast of a microphone. The problem is just it needs it needs so much uh, power. So I still need to buy like a uh, what is it called like an amplifier? No, like a voice lifter. I don't. I'm not sure what you call them. But for example, cloud lifter could do a good job there, just to give a few decibels more. That's what I'm gonna need here. It's hooked up into a road arm that pretty much is like the best stand I've ever used. There are other stands that I was looking for. It was like Ergo, Ergo strands or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what the code name for those are, but they're good ones too. But this one is pretty cheap, works real well. You can pretty much position the microphone pretty much wherever you want. The only thing is that a lot of people have not talked about is the connection from the Shure microphone to the Rode is that it actually gets blocked a little bit by this piece over here. So there's like a certain way you have to have it. You can turn, up, turn, it, turn it just a little bit here and there, but then it just gets blocked by those two novels over there. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a Shure microphone and you're buying a new microphone setup, go for another stand or go for a, a middle piece. They sell like a middle piece that you can actually like stand it like over here or something like that. That should fix your problems pretty much there, okay? Um, 
I bought plants. <laughs> These are the weirdest plants I ever had, pretty much. Look pretty cool. They're like filled with water and shit. Look pretty freaking decent. And this is actual aloe vera. Do you need some aloe vera because you just got burned? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a friend who hates it when I call them flowers. So they're plants. Okay. Calm your tits. They're plants. Okay. Uh, my showcase table over here. We have some G Fuel. We got the Vive. HTC Vive. I'm actually going to do a video with this for YouTube a little bit later. But at the moment, I'm just figuring out how to get Killing Floor Incursion working. Because for some reason, the game doesn't want to fucking work. So... Fuck. Okay. Uh, we have the microphone, the old microphone, the T-Bone SC440. Fully painted for the face logo, pretty much. This is like the face colors that you have here. I'm gonna put it over here. Like so we have the blue, we have the red, and a little bit of the golding. The gold is actually a little bit hidden at the moment, but you have it on the outscales everywhere. And the pop filter is actually gold. So I'm thinking about uh, making like a, gla sorry, a glass case for this microphone. To have it on a stand. This is like a piece of history, to be honest. Uh, we have the spray that you can actually... Uh, this is a good spray. Adhesive spray. Uh, it's for the foams. If you want to stick it to the uh, walls perfectly. Best to buy this. Okay. We have some G Fuel. My vapes. It's so... It, he's, he's so ridiculous with the vape. Let me, let me take a hit. I should be killed. Yeah, um, a few stickers here and there. By the way, this stand is pretty cool. Fucking Ikea, I love you. It's good to have those. It actually brings a little bit more profile to the stream when people are watching. It feels like they're watching a stream, not a fucking robot or something like that. Okay, uh, let's go through the headsets. Uh, I got my, uh, this is a Corsair Vengeance 1500 version 2s. It's a fucking mouth of a fool of a name to actually explain. It's actually, I painted it. I, I painted these ones to look like the face, face logo too. I'm, I'm a bit of a face fan these days. Uh, as long like after face, I actually bought a CS team. I've been after face after that. That's pretty cool. I fucking love them. So it's red on the odd scales. We have blue and then we have gold, which is kind of cool. I got. I kind of like it. So I have my Corsair K. I don't remember if this was the K80 keyboard. It's the rapid fire one that. Pretty much has like, uh, at the moment it's set up to have like a rainbow colors every time you touch the keys, which is kind of cool. And this one is the Razer keyboard, uh, Black Widow, that uh, Cafetus from the stream actually sent me. Cool guy, love him, thank you. Uh, Carpas, he sent me this, uh, this is like a Asus Galli Gladius mouse. It's actually good and a decent mouse that I'm uh, using for editing at the moment. I have a, a mouse just for in case if something happens. This is like a better editing mouse to be honest. And then I have my gaming mouse which is a Logitech G03. G03 I think this is, uh, yeah G3 G403. That's pretty much it. It's a, it's a wired version. Everything here is wired for a good reason too because I just don't trust wireless. At the moment I have one wireless thing and it's the headsets the G933s Logitech. I fucking hate these headsets. Everything about them, I just hate it. They have like a good software where you can connect your phones and everything like that. So if somebody calls you throughout the game, you can actually answer with these headsets. The problem is it's just bad quality. You just don't like it. A lot of people like them, I don't. There's a, par a problem, I guess. Canon printer, woo. So yeah, that's closing to be the end. We have my DR can cap. DR can, love you. And, oh, this is a centerpiece. The, oh God, there goes the headsets again. The DX Razer Classic. This is like one of the best bots I ever bought. Love this chair. It just makes me so, com I love you. It's so comfortable. I have, my, my chair is always filled with like, uh, what is it called? Napkins? I'm not sure what these are called. It's not, it's like the micro something napkins, that, for example, because uh, computer, when you're near computers, they're always dusty. So it's good to have a few napkins here and there. Not like a dust blower because you're gonna fuck your components up, but that's cool. Let's actually lift those back. Mouse lifter. My computer, my friend's computer is still there. It's it's not fixed yet. My bad. That's actually another RGB lamp that just got forgotten pretty much. <laughs> Hold on, tight. You stay there. Okay. 
And that's pretty much closing in to be the end. I actually have another camera here with an extended cord, but I'm just not sure what to do with it yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. By the way, um, a few things. Um, the iPad that controls everything from the lights. Uh, the camera is not actually on a camera stand anymore. I'm using the camera stands for the HTC Vives. So pretty much the, the, what is it, the, the trackers are on top of the camera stands at the moment, so both sides. So I can play on the same room with the HTC Vives. I just pretty much put my chair over there and I have a lot of space then. Like I can pretty much do whatever I want here. It's like three meters to uh, two meters to two, uh, three meters, three, two meters by three meters, something like that. Yeah. And the other tracker is over here with a camera stand too, so it does a good job there. Don't need to touch it. And by the way, if any one of you are looking in for a gaming mouse pad, this one right here, ADX Ultimate Gaming. If you can buy this from somewhere, go for this one. These ones are good. It, it's, it feels the exact same that the SteelSeries, sense, uh, SteelSeries stuff, but they don't break. Uh, this one is actually a few years old. It looks like it because I haven't cleaned it or anything, but if, you, if you're looking at the edges or anything like that, it's not peeled off. So it's still the same crap. It's still holding off real well. It's not breaking off. The, the cloth on top of it is not actually breaking off either. So ADX Ultimate Gaming, go for that one. I actually made a review out of those one too. Uh, I have the controlling center pretty much. I can control my stream from here so I don't have to touch the other computer at all ever. So on number one, for example, I have game mode, then I have the camera mode, break mode and those kind of things. So I never have to touch anything. I can mute my microphone from here. I can do pretty much whatever I want from there. So that's kind of cool. So pretty much the idea of this setup was always that when I'm gonna play, I don't have to focus, I don't have to be worried, I don't have to think about anything else. It's not always like that, of course, sometimes the computers crash and those kind of things, but I don't have to, for example, worry about game lag, I don't have to worry about streaming lag, I don't have to worry about, for example, bumping into something because I don't have space. So that's pretty much why I always want the game room. This is my game room. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I fucking love you guys. We can make, if you guys wanna, Leave a heart on the chat, so I'll make a fucking video with the HTC Vives. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I want to play Killing Fall Incursion and maybe on streams too. I hope I can see you guys on streams. Check out the description for the stream link. Go follow me. We'll see you on the next stream. And is this awkward if I do it like this? Bye-bye. I can actually see myself right there. Is that cool?